Oregon wouldn't be Oregon without forests. And it's not just about when you look at a map and you see how much of Oregon is in forest land or how much of the forest or the land base is managed by forest land managers, state, private, or federal. It's also about who the state is in terms of conservation, recreation, and economy. The forests of Oregon are just precious, precious to the people who live here and the public across the nation. They deliver all sorts of values, whether it's water or wildlife, jobs or recreation. And those values are, are, are under threat. It's become increasingly obvious to many people what's going on in the forests. The, the density of the forest, the intensity of the burns, the smoke impacts, things have changed. The forest health challenges that we're facing right now haven't always been this way, and that's why we need to engage in restoration. So really we've seen these changes on the landscape over the last 100 to 150 years. And it's been a combination of a few things. One, climate change. Hotter, drier summers, less precipitation, and two, fire suppression. A legacy of fire suppression where we've taken natural fire out of the landscape, which forests need, especially eastern dry forests in Oregon, need to be healthy and resilient. And by suppressing that fire, we've seen a lot more vegetation grow on the landscape. And over time, as they dry out with changes in weather and climate, we're seeing these mega fires over the last decade plus. And that's having really negative downstream impacts on water quality, on habitat, on recreational values, on economic benefits. We're going to need to throw everything we can at this problem. And it's going to take our state, federal agencies, our local forest contractors. It's going to take all of us to address this crisis that we're facing. We have a really critical window in the next five to ten years where we have to get some serious work done, where we really have to get aggressive about our management and our restoration if we're going to be able to hold off the worst of the forest health challenges, the wildfires and the droughts that we're seeing right now. The Federal Forest Restoration Program really began with the Board of Forestry commissioning a group to go figure out how the state could take a more active role in increasing forest restoration on federal lands. Forest lands don't stop at private, state, and federal um, ownership boundaries. It's like air and water. They move across the landscape. They may look different on private lands and state lands and federal lands, but a forest is a forest. And so I think at the, at the time the program was created, um, Things were balkanized in a sense of, oh, well, the state works on state lands, the private forest owners operate on, on private forest lands, and the federal forest management, um, that's, a, that's a product of uh, federal policy, and Congress needs to handle that. So the Federal Forest Restoration Program came about because stakeholders like myself were really concerned about the health of our forests, especially the health of our federal forests. And we were recognizing that we needed a different approach and we needed to bring people together to achieve this and to get to scale. And at the time, Governor Kitzhaber also recognized a lot of the same challenges and said, I'd like to see if our agencies like the Oregon Department of Forestry can take a role here and can play a role in helping to manage our federal forests. So over the course of several months, stakeholders, scientists, universities, politicians all came together. We talked about the challenges that we were seeing. We talked about what we needed as far as gaps and problems that we wanted to overcome. And we talked about what the state could contribute and how we could design a program of work to help address that. That initially led into a, a production of an economic analysis, which then showed up in the governor's budget and, and proceeded through the legislative process. And, and the Federal Forest Restoration Program was first funded in 2013. This program grows out of a desire for Oregonians to have healthy and resilient federal forests. We will continue to add capacity, meaning people on the ground doing the work, doing the planning, doing the implementation, um, with the end state of, of really getting ahead of this wildfire issue. We're talking about the use of chainsaws and limbing up trees and cutting brush and uh, thinning smaller trees with a respect for the leaving, the large ones that are fire resistant. Taking the fuels, putting them in a pile, it's another important activity. And then burning those fuels so that if and when the next wildfire comes, um, there's less fuel to burn, the fire is less volatile, uh, less intense, less destructive. And it gives our firefighters a better chance to be able to manage that fire, uh, greater safety for them. 
and for the community. The vision for forest restoration is that we're going to manage for a comprehensive suite of values that we know that our forests can provide. And a big part of that is coming in and doing work like thinning, and especially reintroducing fire on the landscape through prescribed fire so that these forests can be resilient in the face of wildfire, resilient in the face of drought, provide good water quality, air quality, wildlife habitat, recreational opportunities, and timber production. We also need to make sure we have the workforce that can do this. And while sawmills and timber is going to be an important part of forest management, it's also about people who can manage watershed health and can work with prescribed fire to manage our forests for these other values. I think it's changed the way people look at forest management. I think people now know that there are collaborative spaces and there's a collaborative model and there are these places where local people working with non-local people and groups are coming together to actually talk about um, how to achieve common visions on the forest landscape. And that's a big thing. It, it, it's a space where people can actually have trust that um, conversations about forest management can happen in a way that's not about a loss, but about a gain.